Hello! It's the day before Christmas Eve as I'm filming this one. I've got a really busy day today. IB and Isabel are out together today. IB's put Izzy to work at his house, wrapping up all his Christmas presents and he's paying her some money to do it. I meanwhile have got a lot to do. Of course the usual washing up, but just because it's nearly Christmas doesn't mean it goes away. So that's number one. Last bit. I'm going to go out to some local shops now and buy Christmassy bits for the larder, which I failed at doing the day before yesterday. I am back from the shops. Stage one anyway. First thing I did was look around for some clothes shops to see if I could find a Santa t-shirt for my other half. And a Christmas t-shirt for myself for our gig that we have on Christmas Eve. Couldn't find anything suitable. Do excuse me, I'm just making myself a quick cup of tea before I go back out again. I also went to the market and bought some delicious looking vegetables for our Christmas dinner. I got my mum and dad coming by the way for Christmas which will be really lovely so I want to try and give them some good quality veg. The supermarkets have got a price war on at the moment, they've got huge great big bags of veg for 29 pence each, loads of them have, they're all competing with each other which is has pros and cons doesn't it, it's really good for making healthy food affordable for everyday people. I'm sure it's not very good for the farmers though. I don't know how they can even afford to produce it at that price. And of course it puts the local grocers out of business a bit. I went to a health food shop and got some health foodie items. And also a local supermarket that doesn't do a lot of variety. And just got a few basic bits. And I basically got what I thought I could carry and came back. And I'm going to go back out again further afield to a bigger supermarket. I'm still in the process of unpacking. I have some little soya drinks for Izzy or whoever wants them. Some oat drink for putting in coffee. That's my milk stash up there. Managed to get some vegetarian jelly. Well, in fact, it's vegan. I shall put it in my little fancy foods collection cupboard. Look, I've got fancy biscuits, Turkish delight, and a Christmas pudding. I bought gravy granules. I've never made gravy in my life. But I'm going to make an effort for Christmas Day for my parents. I bought tofu. Now my mum just wants quiche for Christmas dinner and my dad wants gammon. So they're all bringing their own and I'm doing the veg. But I've decided I'm going to get some really nice flat cap mushrooms and do stuffed mushrooms as well. I've bought some vegan pate. Don't know what that's going to be like but that's a kind of Christmas treaty thingy. I can go in there. I love these. You know I'm a bit of a nut for Right, yeah, there are other rice cakes in there already. I can go up there. Ah, delicious market broccoli. I've got to decide where to store all this. I don't know if I'll fit it all in the fridge. Cabbage. Sprouts, because it's Christmas and you've got to have sprouts at Christmas. I mean, all love them, actually. Celery, that's for my stuffed mushroom idea. Parsnip. Oh, ugh, I do not like parsnips, but I do love my parents, so I will make them roast parsnips. I don't actually know how to do that. I'll look it up online. And look at this lovely cauliflower. It's all dense and succulent looking. I didn't go too well. I have gone a bit mad with the veg, but that's all we're having. That and all the roast vegetables. Oh, I'm going to have roasted courgette, which Izzy's allergic to, so I'll just keep that away from her. Oh, and tomatoes, which are going to be sliced thinly and laid on top of the mushrooms, but again, one without it, because I think that will set his skin off. And some lovely, sweet, juicy satsumas. And when I was little, Christmas was the only time we had them. So there's big bowls of nuts in shells as well. We don't have them anymore now, really. And that's it. I'm going to have a quick slurp of tea, and I'm going to head back out. Oh, hang on, there's one more, two more things. Bottle of olive oil, because it's running out. And I didn't want it to spill in my trolley for my parents. Some cream to go with the Christmas pudding. And in the morning, I'm going to buy Greg's vegan mince pies. And they'll never eat it all, because neither parent are big eaters. But I just, you know, I won't cook all the veg. I'll cook however much I think they're actually going to eat and uh, then I'll have lots of veg that we'll keep for the next week or so and we'll make our own meals out of it but I thought it'd be nice to have a variety of delicious 
quality veg. <laughs> I'm off out again and it is actually not raining today. So that is worthy of note. There's a brass band here by the sound of it. No, oh, I hate it when that happens. Right, that's not coming out. Let's try this one. <laughs> nope. Right. This happened the other day too. one because I can't fit my trolley in. Aha, uh -huh, that lady over there. It's obviously like she -Ra, she succeeded where I failed, so let's give these another go. Yay! I can go in there now, see? Much easier. Fry B. We had chips last night and I didn't have this in the house. It was gutted. Only sciencey vinegar. That stuff, that's what I had at home. Plum tomatoes. Look, 28 pence a tin. Proper cheap, healthy food. I also want lentils. Here we are. 55 pence. I'm going to put some on my stuffed mushrooms, or in my stuffed mushrooms, I should say. Ah, yes. I want some of this. I've never ever made stuffing in my life. I'm gonna have a go. Are they veggie? Yes, in fact they're vegan. Good. I'm gonna learn how to do that as well. 35p. Get to know that. I can never find soy sauce ever. Like, come to the supermarket multiple times with that on my shopping list and just give up. Because I can't be bothered to ask the attendants. I'm always tired when I come. But I might need to do it today. I've completely run out. Oh, here it is. This is the only brand I like. I think I'm gonna get that one. Vegan custard is on two for 150 at the moment, so I've picked some of that up. I'm uh, I'm going veganer. I'm not going vegan, but I'm substituting more and more things. I'm getting some fancy crackers. Izzy loves potato cakes. I splashed out on that for Izzy because she's not gonna like mince pies or Christmas pudding. So, something for Iz. It's getting dark now. I'm heading back home. Izzy's back there. <gasps> Santa's been. Look. And it's only the day before Christmas Eve as I'm filming this. Looks like IB didn't just drop my daughter off. He's dropped some presents off as well. To Owl. <laughs> Isabel used to have this toy owl called Ollie the Owl. And it was like her number one favourite toy that she took everywhere with her. And one Christmas... I be addressed all my presents to Imo. Well, he does it every year, actually. And he just wrote I-M-O in marker pen on the presents. Like that, of course. But Isabel came down in the morning and was distributing the presents on Christmas morning. And she read it as Owl. And she thought, all these presents were for Ollie the Owl. And she was trying to give them to the Owl. And I had to wrestle them back off her because they were for me. I should add that she was five or six years old at the time. Now it is about this time in the afternoon that I tend to have a little sit down and a rest for half an hour and I have a bit of a snack and a drink usually. So that is what I'm going to do now before I unpack the rest of the shopping. And that's all the shopping I'm doing now between now and Christmas apart from mince pies from the bakery tomorrow and that's it. I've had an extra long Christmassy break because it's Christmas and now I'm going to go into the cellar and wrap the rest of Izzy's presents. Hey, look what I've discovered in Flute Cave. Some shelves, second-hand ones, that have come from a friend of mine's house and IB has delivered them to me down here. That is excellent. They will work lovely in the front room when I eventually get around to sorting them out. Yay! Oh, but look, that is made for that space there. Do you know I've got boxes of books to unpack? How stable would that be? Mm, I don't know. No, it's not very secure, is it? Oh well, okay, it probably won't stay there. But it can stay there for now, and that light sounds like a plague of locusts. And I'm not very happy about that. I think I'm going to turn it off. And just use the lamp instead. Yeah. I've been storing these Christmas goodies down here for a while, away from Izzy's eyes, but I'll bring them up now and she can 
gaze at them longingly. Whoops, already ran out of sellotape and then the dispenser fell apart. So this is Izzy's blinged up one. <laughs> uh, I have some more, I'll go and get it. Done one present anyway for Izzy. Most of them are here already. But I have some more, which I can kind of show because she won't see this till after Christmas now. There are no more spare rolls, but that's my dispenser. We must have switched them somehow in the wrapping confusion. Mm, a bit messy. I'm making dinner, some stir fry to have with these here noodles. I am officially tired and I also officially didn't quite get everything done today that I needed to do. But never mind, it was still pretty productive. Thank you so much for watching. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit the subscribe button to follow more of our adventures and I'll see you soon. Bye.